Welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy! Last time we had the main story finale. We defeated Renrock and we def also defeated Victor Rookwood. Um, off screen I got a me an owl from Someone's Ominous <laughs> to go and talk to him in the Undercroft. But first we're gonna go talk to Poppy. And those will be the end of their relationship quests. So first Poppy, then Ominous, and then we'll do the Nati Onai quest. So that we can finish her relationship quest. Off screen I also made some Wingwald potions. Then, as you can see. Because I was completely out after that fight with Renrock. And trust me, I was it was a pretty good fight, all things considered. But I just... Well, now that I think about it, I wish to have battled him in his goblin form and not in, like, a dr some kind of dragon form. Hello there, Poppy. Just the person I was hoping to see. I see Doran finally convinced you to leave the Snidgets. If anyone can keep them out of poacher hands, it's the Centaurs. And I wanted to thank you. Oh, you're welcome. When the poachers ambushed us, I... It was nice not to face them alone. Of course. It's the sort of thing friends do for each other, isn't it? I suppose so. I am glad you came to Hogwarts. It's already been my best year. I wouldn't want a repeat of Hauntel Hall, of course, but I did enjoy the Three Broomsticks. Had no idea how lovely it was there. Had you never been to the Three Broomsticks? I used to spend most of my time with Highwing. And, well, I don't know how Serona feels about hippogriffs popping in for a butterbeer. True that. Highwing's the only one I would have gone with. Or Gran, of course. Now you have me. Nothing wrong with that. Highwing's good company. He is. She is. Oh, she. Although I am beginning to see the appeal of a uh, human friends. It was nice to talk about my parents and Gran with someone. And share Highwing. I don't suppose you've heard anything from your parents, have you? I haven't, but I'm perfectly fine with that. Of course. They're poachers. Does your Gran know that we found the Snidgets? I couldn't hold it in any longer. I told her everything. She was livid that I'd been anywhere near the poachers, but she confessed that she was rather envious about the Snidgets. I understand her being livid for that. I mean, they're quite, they're quite dangerous. It has all been a pleasure, Poppy. Do try and stay out of trouble. Don't know that I can. We've taken on poachers twice now, successfully. I rather think you've helped me develop a taste for it. And with Centaurs Take as it allies, easy. I might actually go looking for trouble. Take it easy. You and I should meet for a butterbeer soon. Perhaps Highwing can join us? Yay! Quest complete. Poppy Blooms. Revelio. Okay. Next up is... This one. Speak with Ominous. Meaning we gotta go to the Undercroft, I think. But with it, Poppy's relationship quest. Which is great and all that. I think I can release the grab horn. I can release a grab horn here. Not gonna do that though, because. That's a big beast, and it would trample all of the students. I do look amazing in the legendary outfit. Points. Oh. This way? This way. Of course, I haven't gotten all the field guide pages, and I haven't gotten around all of the side quests, but... That's no biggie, is it? I mean, the series is long enough as it is.
I'm quite happy to uh, leave it at that. To do the relationship quest and then the two final main quests. There's still some main quests to do. Post uh, main story main quests. For me, a game is done when the credits roll. And that hasn't happened yet. Thank you for coming. You're welcome, Ominous. Ominous, I received your owl. What's happened with Sebastian? Sent to He's been expelled and will soon face trial at the Ministry. Of Although course. Anne wanted to turn him in, I think now she's torn. I confess I know how she feels. As much as we all wanted Sebastian to face the consequences of his actions, it will never be the same without him. Just standing here in the Undercroft without Sebastian feels wrong. I know what you mean. It feels wrong, but he brought it on himself. I never thought things would end this way. I hope we did the right thing. I hope so too. I think Were we did. Were you able to tell Sebastian about Rookwood cursing Anne? I was. Black let me talk to Sebastian before he left. At first he wouldn't believe it. Then he realized it all made sense. Unfortunately, his anger only grew towards goblins and dark wizards. Anne was shocked too, but in some sense relieved to know the truth about who was responsible. I think it brought her some peace. I'm glad to hear it. She deserves peace. She deserves it. She does. Sebastian was my best friend. I can't imagine Hogwarts or anywhere without him. I know you two had grown close, that you were helping each other with more than just finding a cure for Anne. He never gave specifics, but I know it was important. He meant means a lot to us both. I hope we get the chance to tell him that one day. I know we had a bit of a rocky start, but you've proven yourself as a friend. Aww. I'm glad you came to Hogwarts. Thank you, Ominous. Okay, we've completed his, uh, the Salo, um, relationship quest line. But now I'm thinking, had Sebastian known about Victor Rookwood cursing his sister, would he have gone this far? Would he have meddled with dark arts in that case? Paolo's last stand, level 28. 28? Yeah, 28. Um, I'm level 31, so that's okay. Where's Manor Cape? Uh, of course, it's far, far away. Of, of course, of course. Of course it had to be far away. But you know, that's something to think about. Had he known... Oh, I need to go the other way. Had he known... Stop right there! No. Had he known about... Victor Rookwood. Had Sebastian gone that far into the dark arts. I'm in some kind of ruins. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. Everything's dangerous in the wizarding world. Okay. Really? I'm taking all the wrong turns. We have never really taken a good look at this place. I'm just fast traveled here. Flu. What kind of uh That's a deer call and it's a nizzle then. This is actually a beautiful place. A bit torn up. Rather, I'm wise coming back this way. Let's get it. Ah. 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 Hey. 
Tada! Cast fiends. Hey, I I did uh, the thing. Am I hearing a dragon? Oh my god, a dragon. Awesome. Now I see some cows, so I'm gonna flip into them. First two. That was a miss. That was another miss. Fender one. Fender two. Hey! We need to do that for a trophy. No quiet. And we all get it. Where are the other cows? That's over there. Why am I doing this? Okay, I got it. Spilt milk. I don't know why I did that. That's that's a useless trophy. Yeah, you can handle it. I look awesome in that outfit, though. Are you ready to finish Harlow? Oh, I'm definitely ready. I finished Rookwood and Renrock already. I'm ready to finish Harlow once and for all. What is your plan? I received an owl from Mrs. Bickle. She wondered if we were having any luck going after Harlow. Suggested we could gather evidence from a friend near Manor Cape. But she warned us to stay out of it. Was rather adamant about it. Precisely. Harlow knows that we saved Archie. And that we rescued Mr. Rabe. The letter didn't come from Mrs. Bickle, did it? I do not believe it did. Hallow intends to ambush us. But now we have the upper hand. We can prepare. We are stronger Let's prepare than Hallow, then. And he knows it. That's why he's resorting to this sort of trickery. Hey, I'm we quite strong. Go. Oh, I'm ready. Agreed. Let's finish this. I'm ready as I'll ever be. Hallow's reign ends today. As said Victor Rookwood. to inform Officer Singer of our plans. I already sent her an owl to let her know that we were following a lead given to us by Mrs. Bickle. Are you concerned she might tell your mother? Indeed she will, but so be it. I am tired of hiding it from her. Hey. My mother needs to understand that I will not be safe from the Ashwinders until everyone is. I shall pursue them until they are finished, and I think she knows that. As do you. That I do. Keep an eye out. Hollow is likely around here somewhere. I sense he is close. Where is he? I do not know. We should Rebellion. There they are. Hey there. I'll make you win, children. <laughs> Oh god! Ow! Come on! Come 
How many are there? Why the hell are they in fried? We have tried. Little Natsayonai in it, and her excruciatingly loyal companion. You two have done quite a bit of damage to my business interests. I have. <laughs> we have. But I must gradually give you some credit. What was once a mere annoyance has become remarkably problematic. Fortunately, I pride myself on my problem-solving skills. <sighs> Do you want to concede now? My foot brother along this. Arrest the momentum. Really? That was not. <laughs> of course, I can do better than that. Really? Man, defend him. Come the hell on. Come on, and bzz, that should have killed you in real life. <laughs> no, you're not trying. What do you mean I fight like a muggle? What's wrong with fighting like a muggle? A shame to 
Do I do I have Mandrakes? Hey! I use the Mandrake! <laughs> You will meet the same fate as your friend Rookwood. <laughs> Why did Rookwood explode and he didn't? It's just Crucio. She's not dead. It was just Crucio. I know it's excruciatingly, excruciatingly painful, but she'll she'll live. Okay. Are you sure you are up for a visitor? Yes, mother. I feel fine. And it will do me good to see my friend. Very well. Oh. But do not overdo it, Natsai. I know, mother. Hey, I'm over here. Give me the prompt to talk to her. <sighs> it is good to see you, my friend. I'm glad to see you're doing so well. I am doing better than it appears. I am only here because my mother insisted just to be safe. She's right on this one. I was one. relieved when she told me that you were all right. Only because of you. How are you feeling? Well, I've had better days. But Nurse Blaney says that I am on the mend. I'm sorry, Natty. It's my fault you got hurt. What? No. Do not blame yourself for this. The moment that I saw Harlow aim his wand at you, well... Yeah. You did what came naturally. I suppose it was instinct. Yes. I could not simply stand there and let you get hurt. Luckily it was Crucio. Another Vada Of Kedavra. course not. There was nothing that you... Oh. Oh my. I cannot Revelation. it took me this long to see it. He made a choice based on instinct. My father, you, my friend, are no more to blame for my injuries today than I am to blame for my father's sacrifice years ago. From what I know of him, it seems there's a lot of your father in you. That's very kind of you to say. I hope that you are right. This has all been a bit much, hasn't it? A battle here at Hogwarts. Everything we have done to take down Harlow and the rest of Rookwood's lot. But we have done it. Rookwood is dead, Harlow is on his way to Azkaban, and the rest of them are on the run. A few of the dregs will still be about, fighting for their lost cause. But Rookwood's enterprise has fallen apart. Everything is safe now because of us. Because of you. Thank you, but we make a formidable team. You, my fellow traveler, have enriched my time at Hogwarts beyond anything I could have imagined. Thank you. I believe your friendship to be one of the most important in my life. Thank you for coming to visit me. It is always good to see you. The Avenging Gazelle. Sorry, Professor Onai. Okay. Hogwarts School of Witchcraft, huh? Okay. Oh! We're learning about why he uh, banned Quidditch this school year. Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry, Hospital Wing. Tending healer, Nurse Noreen Bailey. Patient name, redacted by order of Professor Black. Age, redacted by order of Professor Black. He wants to keep it secret from somehow. Notes. The patient was injured during a quiet match, though in my professional opinion, uh, redacted by order of Professor Black, 
hardly counts as an injury. So it's not even that big of an injury. In fact, if anyone was injured, it was me as I do not believe I've ever rolled my eyes quite so hard in my life. It is a wonder I can even see to write this note. Rather unbelievably, or indeed despicably, the Hesden Monster now wants to cancel Quidditch, all because a pure blood, redacted by the order of Professor Black, went and redacted by the order of Professor Black before the snitch was even in sight. When I pressed the headmaster slightly, I was told, redacted by order of Professor Black. Anything Rebellion. else here? Outside of that? Of course, you'll find a Wigan World here. Thing. Level 2 lock. Okay, I don't have that. Okay. Hello, an field guide page. Unicorn Fountain. The majestic unicorn fountain gives an air of serenity and calm to the hospital wing at Hogwarts. Okay, now I got a new talent point. Talk to Professor Weasley. Which we shall do. I hope the final two main quests don't take up a long time because I'm already marvelous, half. Simply marvelous! I've never seen the headmaster so regal. Actually, I have come to think of it, his way really isn't it. Scrub's master is indeed regal, sir. Nope, he's not. You uh, wouldn't mind having a little. Points. Okay. Uh, here's another. Revelio. Field guide page. Portrait of Barufio. This portrait depicts the wizard Barufio, famed for his brain elixir and as an example of what happens when incantations are improperly spoken. He once said S instead of F, found himself on the floor with a buffalo on his chest. Okay, funny. Enter. Where the hell am I? Lumos. Where am I? How the bloody hell did I get here? Doesn't matter. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. I mean, Gryffindor Tower. Why would I want to be in Gryffindor Tower? I'm a damn Ravenclaw. Yips. Where the hell is Professor Weasley? Did? What do you mean, did? I am a prophet in my soul, completely and utterly mortified. What are these OWL exams? Thought someone as young as me could save my uncle's life. Oh yeah, Transfiguration classroom. That's where she teaches her classes. Hi there! Professor Weasley, you wanted to see me? I did. We haven't had a chance to speak since... I know you were quite close with Professor Fig. We were close. Hogwarts won't be the same without him. No, it won't. But I can assure you that he would want us to press on, and that he would rest easy knowing that the future of the wizarding world is in hands like yours. Thank you, Professor. You've had quite a year, both inside and outside of Hogwarts. Yep. I've heard all sorts of rumors. You've ridden a Raphorn, befriended a goblin, Rescued hippogriffs. Sounds about right. Even helped Mr. Ollivander track down a family wand. How did you? It's harder to keep secrets around here than one might suspect. Sounds about right. What I did. I'm just glad you found such a good friend in Miss Sweeting. It's nice to see her engaging more with her classmates. Yay! There have evidently been snidget sightings in the area lately. If the centaurs are to be believed, two Hogwarts students are behind it. Guilty as charged. I don't know what. No need to discuss it further. What I would like to discuss is your wizard's field guide. Not good. May I see it? Of course. Not that good. 
Don't matter. There's still pages missing, I know. But I tried my best. What do you think, Professor? I think you've been busy this year. Uh -huh. I see some progress here, but quite a bit of your field guide has yet to be completed. I know, I know. Fortunately, you do have some time to prepare for your OWLs. I will confess, I had a sense about you from that first moment you came bursting in late to the sorting ceremony. Not my fault. I'm pleased to see that my instincts were correct. To think you've only been with us a year and you'll already be taking your OWLs, well, it's nothing short of astonishing. Thank you, Professor, for everything. You are most welcome. I look forward to seeing what you do during the rest of your time with us. Uh, thank you for your all. Dear Professor Weasley, thank you for your... Uh, well, I am overjoyed to hear that this most recent crop of seven years includes a number of students who may be both interested in, in and well suited for a career at the Ministry. Of course, their OWLs will provide confirmation of the latter, but equally invaluable to our recruitment process is your opinion. You have a unique perspective given your experience with us, and for that I am truly grateful. I look forward to the further updates as the term progresses. Respectfully yours, Ferris Spaven, Minister for Magic, London. Let's loot uh, Weasley's place. Rebellion. I don't know where that is. By all accounts, Hogwarts would be lost without you. Yep, I think so too. It's level one lock. That's not where I need to be. I need to be around there somehow. Let's quickly try to find that field guide page. And I hope it's not blocked behind. Revelio. Rebellion. There you are. And you need Leviosa. That's just uh, the pulse thing. Level 2 lock? I don't have that. This is the Egyptian uh, thing. Hello. Okay. Wait a minute. Last main quest is locked. I need to be level 34 for the house cup. I'm level 32. Hello, Hamora. Well, that means I gotta do some side questing. And to complete my field guide page. Revelio. Okay. I'm not gonna read that. Well, I think I'll just fill up. this episode now so that I can get like 45 minutes in at least side quest here you know what let's do a side quest for who quest begin what's what what quest is this oh god history for magic in today's lesson, we will cover a truly thrilling event. The Goblin Rebellion of 1752 and all its triumphant tragedy. 
But more specifically, uh, we will address the devastating effects it had on the wizard milling industry. I have to stay awake. Throughout the many goblin battles, countless wizard cloaks were lost. Actually, we do know the number. 632. But history occurs outside the classroom. And look, it's time for my constitutional. One can practically osmose the history flowing through Hogwarts. Now we gotta follow him. Professor wants us to follow him. You think a meet? And now for a stroll to the bell tower entrance hall. Along this is with just the class. The castle, it was completed in the late early Middle Ages. The hall and the bell towers that loom above it contain myriad interesting artifacts. What's this about? Good to see you again. Recovered from that nasty bout of dragon pox, have we? I, uh, that wasn't me, Professor. I'm new here. Are you? Uh, well then, uh, welcome. No doubt you're eagerly anticipating my analysis of various wizarding councils, codes, statutes, and of course, goblin rebellions. Not really. Not all goblins are rebellious. Some venture into wizarding politics, such as Irgit the Ugly. Some are talented artisans, such as Bragbor the Boast. Bragbor, we know. Did you say Bragbor? I know that name. Lord Cox said he was an ancestor of Ranrock. Hmm. Well known for his metalwork. I would imagine much of his goblin wrought iron and silver has survived to this very day. Yep. Well, where were we? Oh, oh yes. <clears throat> Back to our class topic for today. Grimbald Weft, another notable historical figure. Uh, he's right nearby. This is the most boring class. Curious students can find him on display here in the Bell Tower. Rebellion. All students introduce themselves to this Hey there. Leave it to Bins to make the most interesting school in Sir Skagglethorpe the Heedless once challenged a mountain troll to a game of musical. Hi there, puppy. Well, you're covering a large area. Grimbald Weft. Rebellion. Where the hell is Grimbold Weft? Somewhere over here? This Grimbold Weft sounds like a helpful fellow. But a hero of the rebellion. There it is. Grimbold Weft. This is the skull of famed tailor Grimbald Weft, who with skilled needlework prepared countless witches and wizards' codes during the Goblin Rebellion of 1752, thus preventing them from taking ill during battle. Oh yes, I see you found Grimbold Weft. Yes, I rather enjoyed seeking him out. The thrill of the scholarly pursuit. I know the feeling quite well. Yeah, probably. Now, let's turn our attention to the agreeability and general good nature of Sir F. Buttle. He's also nearby. See what you can learn from him for your next assignment. I've done all of my assignments. Standing in eternal but symbolic watch over the bell tower is a retinue Rebellion. of loyal knights. Or rather, statues of knights, I should clarify. Keen-eyed students will spot the statue of Sir Athpuddle of the cheerful countenance nestled among the ranks. Where is he? Where is Sir Athpuddle? Vanquishing foes in single combat, nor by slaying bloodthirsty dragons. Rather, in training yards, I thought I, I had collected that one. 
a flattened armor. By his warm and approachable Sir demeanor was celebrated by old friends and oh. alike. Quaint. Where the hell is the rough bottle? This set of armor belonged to Sir Afbottle of the Cheerful Countenance, a legendarily friendly knight who supposedly won every battle before it was fought by virtue of his amiable negotiating tactics. Some attribute his success to an overly potent cheering charm to cast upon himself. Okay. Our students often complain about thee. Professor Bins, I found the statue of Sir Afpuddle. Ah, well done. Alas, Sir Afpuddle's affability was his undoing. Died instantly trying to befriend a basilisk. Dumbass. Eye contact is not always to be encouraged. So beloved was he that even some goblins mourned his passing. Of course, that did not bode well with the rest of the goblins, most of whom could not abide mourning the loss of a wizard. Pity goblins and wizards can't get along. They should. True. But imagine how dull my lectures would be without goblin rebellions to discuss. But they're already boring. Mm, history does tend to repeat. It is a series of patterns, a thought both comforting and disconcerting. The wise student, such as yourself, will learn from it. Plus dismissed. Oh, thank the Lord. History is written by those who do their schoolwork, so they say. Or at least, I like to say that. Okay, let's find something better to do. I need to be level 34, I'm only level 32. Let's explore Hogwarts some more. How can we do so much and accomplish so little? No idea. I see a... Side quest. Close by. Made a Medusa statue. How the hell do I get there? Where the hell am I? What's this? Beating a curse. Conjuration spellcraft. Let's do a different side quest. A side quest that's a little bit more entertaining. <laughs> this series has gone on for far too long already. Now I need to be level 34. Not... Okay with that. I'm definitely not okay with that. What do you mean? Sir, are you all right? You seem to be in some distress. All right? Do I look all right? I've been kidnapped! What do you mean you've How been kidnapped? How can you be kidnapped when you're right here? What sort of question is that? Of course I'm right here. I've more than one frame. Do you only have one home? Yes. It's my other frame. It's been stolen. And by students, no less. They paid filthy thieves to steal my other frame. Oh dear, that sounds awful. Yeah, that sounds awful. awful. is exactly what Astoria Cricket is. She's behind all of this. She and her friends were moaning about me of all the nerve. Then I heard her plot to enlist a gang of good-for-nothings to have me stolen from the three broomsticks. That's why my other frame hung. Half of a place. Though I suppose one could do worse. You're entitled. I knew a portrait who ended up in the hog's head. No one's heard from him since. Right. So back to your frame. Ah, yes. 
There I was, powdering my wig, and the next thing I knew, I was being manhandled by rogues and carried off. As if I can afford not to be at my post. I do important work for the headmaster, and I need my other frame back at the three broomsticks. Let's ask the questions. Who is Astoria Cricket, and what would she want with your frame? She's a fourth-year troublemaker, that's who. She and her band of hoodlums discuss all sorts of misdeeds right under my nose, and then resent me for overhearing them. I can only assume they took my frame in some misguided attempt to punish me for doing my job. You seem a little annoying. What do you mean you do important work for the headmaster? Let's just say I overhear quite a bit in Serona's fine establishment, and the headmaster likes to know all about it. He's come to count on me in this regard. Reminds me of my prefect days. <sighs> snitches get stitches. I don't suppose you have any idea where your stolen frame was taken. Can you see anything from it? I most certainly can. They brought me to a ruin of all places. Some crumbling atrocity surrounded by water from the sound of it. Oh, I do also recall seeing the coast on the way. Got it. I could look into the matter for you. Oh, would you? How marvellous. Do it quickly, though, won't you? The place they took me to is quite beneath me. Off you go, then. Okay, I need to go to the bre three broomsticks. Don't tell me I gotta do all the side quests now to get to level 34. And Hollywood met his match the day of the troll attack in Hogsmeade. The village owes you a great debt for ridding us of that monster. And I mean Harlow. <laughs> Thank you, Serona. A story of cricket? That depends. Am I in trouble? Ferdinand Pratt thinks you should be. Says you stole his frame. I wouldn't call it stolen. Relocated's more like it. How do I put this nicely? Ferdinand Pratt is a postulant boil, and he's lucky I didn't have him sealed in a wall. Yeah. <laughs> he truly is rather foul, isn't he? Yeah, indeed. All he does is spy on students in here and report back to the headmaster. Sometimes, if there's nothing to report, he'll make it up. I spent four hours in detention last week, all because he told Black that I was planning to drain the lake, whatever that means. How do you drain the a lake? Straw. He and his frame had to go. May I ask where you put him? Well, I didn't put him anywhere. The frame is likely with the fine gents I paid to snatch it. They camp in a ruin by the coast. I just wanted it far enough away that I'd never have to think about Ferdinand Pratt ever again. You do know he's screaming in the library as we speak. Oh, for the love of Merlin. If you ask me, he's got nothing to scream about. I could have had him put in the hogshead. The pampered Pratt would have hated it. Grimy walls, smell of goats. And the patrons, they eat snooty princes like Ferdinand for dinner. <laughs> but what's done is done. He isn't here anymore, and if I were you, I should enjoy it. Okay. Lovely chatting with you. Bye. Oh, God. That far away, it's on that one coast, isn't it? Whee! All the way back there. Oh. Quite close to a flu flame, actually. Nice to see you, my young friend. You've made a mistake. No, I don't make mistakes. There's a Merlin Trier here as well. Maybe I can do that while I rescue this little guy. No, we keep the plan. Ransom the portrait to Black. Hi there, guys. Let 
Oh god. No, I'm the one who's warming up. Points. <laughs> That one rather well. I should investigate. Oh, probably in the thing down here or not. Oh, this is the way I came. Let's quickly look at the Merlin trial. Bobada. Oh no, wait. Lumos. It's got to do with the butterflies, this one. There's the last one. Really? That's another uh, Merlin trial done. I don't know how many I've done now. But this gives experience, I think. Okay. Rebellion. Okay, it's right over there. It means there must be a Cave somewhere near here? No? Yeah, no. That is not the way to go. Where the hell is that entrance? I did see an entrance somewhere right. Where the hell is that entrance? Down here? Probably. Yes, down here. Are you kidding me? I need level 2 lock? I'm gonna end it right here, guys. Um, and I'll see if I am going to do a final video. Um, on this, where I'm level 34, um, so I'm gonna do a lot of quests off screen or maybe stream them. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, I'm gonna leave it right here because I don't have a level 2 Alohomora. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye. <laughs>